Are you ready? Blitos of Theo Simon, Pando Tenin Kei, Keseonas Toneono. Glory to you, O God, glory to you, Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, present in all places and filling all things, treasure of good things and giver of life. Come take your abode in us and cleanse of every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Patrimon, o entisuranis, aiestir tonomasu, el tetri vasilia su genitit terimasu, os and uranokipitisis. Tnartrimon ton epius yon dos simin simbron, kiafe simin to frimetaimon, os kemis afiamen tisulet simon, kemis and engzi masis pirasmon araris se masta pojuponiru. Otisu estiri vasilia, ke dinamis, ke doxa, tu patros, ke tu iuk, tu pneumatos, nin ke ai, ke se onas tone ono. Amen. Save, O Lord, your people, and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over the enemy, and by your cross protecting your commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You who were lifted on the cross voluntarily, O Christ our God, bestow your tender compassions upon your new community to which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power, granting them the victories against their adversaries. And for an ally, Lord, may they have you peace as their armor, the trophy invincible. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. <clears throat> o awesome and unshakable protection, O good and praiseworthy Theotokos, do not despise our petitions. Make firm the community of the Orthodox. Save those whom you have called to rule. Grant them victory from heaven, for you gave birth to God and are truly blessed. Have mercy <coughs> upon us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Let us pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Let us pray for our Archbishop Nathaniel. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and undivided Trinity, always, now, and ever, into the ages of age. Oh. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. O oh Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O oh Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O oh Lord, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O oh Lord, are my protector, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God, for you struck all those who were foolishly at enmity with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. 
I lay down and I slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your anger, for your arrows are fixed in me. Your hand rests on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my transgressions rise up over my head like a heavy burden, they are heavy on me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my folly. I suffer misery and I am utterly bowed down. I go all the day long with a sad face. For my loins are filled with mockeries and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the groaning of my heart. O Lord, all my desire is before you and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, even this, is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me, and my near of kin stand far off. And those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil for me speak folly, and they meditate on deceit all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear, and I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear and who has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O Lord, I hope you will hear, O Lord my God. For I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me. For when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my pain is continually with me. For I will declare my transgression, and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live and are stronger than I, and those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. Those who repaid me evil for good slandered me because I pursue righteousness, and they threw away my love as though it were a stinking corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, my God, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh thirsts for you in a desolate, impassable, and waterless land. So in the holy place I appear before you to see your power and your glory. Because your mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as if with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall sing praise to you with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remembered you on my bed, I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you, your right hand takes hold of me. But they, shall, but they seek for my soul in vain, they shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword, they shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall be glad in God, and all who swear by him shall be praised. For the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper. And in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. For my soul is filled with sorrows, and my soul draws near to Hades. I am counted among those who go down into the pit. I am like a helpless man free among the dead, like slain men thrown down and sleeping in a grave, whom you remember no more, but they are removed from your hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in dark places and in the shadow of death. Your wrath rested upon me, and you brought all your billows over me. You removed my acquaintances far from me. They, bait, they made me an abomination among themselves. I was betrayed and did not go forth. My eyes weakened from poverty. O oh Lord, I cry to you the whole day long. I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead, or will physicians raise them up and acknowledge you? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth and destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in a forgotten land? But I cry to you, O oh Lord, and in the morning my prayer shall come near to you. 
Why, O Lord, do you reject my soul and turn away your face from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth, but having been exalted, I was humbled and brought into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me, and your terrors greatly troubled me. They compassed me like water all the day long. They surrounded me at once. You removed far from me neighbor and friend and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, I cried day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards, who is merciful to all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercy and judgment to all who are wronged. He made known his ways to Moses, the things he willed to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how he formed us, he remembers we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain, and it shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him and his righteousness upon children's children, to such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in strength, who do his word, so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers, who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, and all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear to my supplication in your truth. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul, he humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to dwell in dark places as one long dead, and my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remember the days of old, and I meditated on all your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faints within me. Turn not your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 doxosio theos. Alleluia, 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 doxosio theos. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy church of God, for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison. Er tu ayu kentu 
Kiriu dei tho men. Kiriu dei tho men. Our Archbishop Nathaniel, the honorable presenters, the deacons, the servants of Christ, all the clergy and the lady, let us pray to the Lord. Kiriu dei tho men. For our country, the president, all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. For this parish and city and for every city and town, for the faith who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Ere gracia sae una furiest on carpontis yis, que queron irinicont kiriu dei thomen. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Tis panaia sacrandui per evloiem enis en doxu, despinisim on teotoku keai parthenu marias, metapanu tona iebimon efsan des eftus geerlilus, ke pasant in zoin imon, Christot Deo parathometha. You belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Theos Kyrios Kepefanenimi Evlohimenos o Erhomenos En onomati Kyriou Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, <coughs> but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. Theos Kyrios Kepefanenimin Evlohimenos o Erhomenos En onomati Kyriou This came about from the Lord and is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Apostoli aihi presvepsate to eleimoniteo inates matonapesin Parastites psychesimon. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A ruler of faith are you, and an icon of gentleness, and a teacher of self-control, and to your flock this was ever done. By the truth of your life and deeds, you were humbled, and therefore you acquired exalted gifts, treasures in heaven for being poor. O Father and Hierarch, Saint Nicholas, intercede with Christ, our God, and entreat him to save our souls. 
both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. We have come to know that the word of the Father, Christ our God, became incarnate from you, O Virgin Theotokos, only pure, only blessed. <clears throat> Therefore we never cease to extol and magnify you. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Peace, Panaia, Sahrandui, Perevlo, Yemenis, and Luxu. Despidi Simon Theotoku que ai parthenu Marias, meta pando antona iemimon efsan des eftus que alilus, que pas antizo inimon Christo to Theo para to meta. For yours is the dominion and yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Preeminent apostles and teachers of the universe, intercede with the Master of all to grant peace to the whole world and great mercy to our souls. Their proclamation went forth into all the earth in the words to the ends of the world. You appointed your disciples, O Christ, as beacons shining to the ends of the earth, illuminating souls by their preaching through them, dispelling the deception of idols and flooding the world with the rays of the doctrines of true religion. At their intercession, save our souls. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Be swift to accept our fervent <coughs> prayers, O Lady and Queen, and take them off your maiden and present them for us before your own Son and God. Rescue from every trouble those who run to your shelter, O Virgin Theotokos, <coughs> and frustrate the scheming of those who against your servants have shamelessly taken arms. Your voice has gone out into all the earth, glorious apostles, and turn the unwise wisdom of error into folly, drawing all mankind from the abyss of deception, and shown to all the path of salvation. Therefore we now rightly call you blessed. The heavens declare the glory of God. The firmament shows the creation of his hands. You appointed your disciples, O Savior, as heralds of the faith, guiding the nations through them to the knowledge of you. For with the grace of their words, they enlighten all mankind by truly sowing the seed of true religion 
at their intercession save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Hark and sovereign lady to your servant, who cries from a grieving soul, and grant me forgiveness of my many wicked deeds. For I have you as protection, both day and night, deliver me, Mother of God, from the fires of hell, and set me on the right hand of your Son and God. Come swiftly, Father Tarasios, and save your servants from the dangers and tribulations that beset us. For you have boldness towards the Creator, the Creator and God. Come swiftly then to those who call on you in faith, granting them your present protection and shelter. God is wonderful in his sight. <clears throat> you martyrs, O Lord, were worthily awarded by you the crowns of incorruption, <clears throat> and that they contested for you are a mortal God, since they possessed your power. They defeated the tyrants, Dancing, dashing the demons, powerless displays of defiance. O Christ God, at their fervent entreaties, save our souls. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We are unequipped to praise you worthily, O Theotokos, for you are the highest of all things created. Therefore we entreat you as a gift to us. Have mercy on us. Here lay son, here lay son, here lay son. <clears throat> Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgressions. Worship me thoroughly from my lawlessness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness, and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned, and done evil in your sight that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssops and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humble shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. The sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure's design and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness and with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls upon your altar. Like a great and brilliant sun, shining with dogmas and the glow with miracles, 
You are a guiding light, O saint, for orthodox see throughout the world. Mystic of heaven, O blessed Tarasion. Mystic of heaven, O blessed Tarasion. O Savior, as my soul is darkened by the darkness of my offenses, I pray you illumine it with the light of your mercy. Purify me of the mist of sinful recollections and turn my mind to good thoughts, O my Christ, <clears throat> so that I may be able to worthily extol your higher work and to attain his lifestyle, his illustrious exploits, his inspired faith, and the zeal he possessed for the sake of your church, which dutifully now extols him and cries out, Mystic of heaven, O blessed Tarasio. Mystic of heaven, O blessed Tarasio. On February 25th, we commemorate our Father among the saints, Tarasios the Confessor, Archbishop of Constantinople. On this day, Saint Alexander died by the sword. On this day, we also commemorate the Holy Hieromartyr Reginos, Bishop of Skopilos. On this day, Saint Anthony died by fire. On this day, Saint Theodore, the fool for Christ, reposed in peace. On this day, the Holy Hieromartyr Markelos of Cyprus, Bishop of Apamia in Syria, died by the sword. By their holy intercessions, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. Tin Theotokon, Kemitera tu fotos en imnis timondes, Megalino My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. Tin Timi o Terra Togerubin. Ten vox otera nasi critos ton serafim, tina dia foros teon logon te cusan, tinon dos teo tocon se megalino men. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant, for behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater be contemptor than the seraphim. He without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and our truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. Tinti mi o terra ton cherubim, ken dox o terra nasi critos ton serafim, tina dia foros, Theon logon te gusan, tinon tos theotokon se megalino men. He has shown strength with his arms, he has scaled the proud in the imagination of their heart. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare. And the seraphim, he without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. He has put down the mighty from their thrones, and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. Tinti mi o terra ton cherubim, ken vox o terra nasi critos ton serafim. Tina dia foros, 
Teo logo te gusan, ti non dos teo to con se megalino me. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and his seed forever. Traitor in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Apa si genis, si krato to pnevmati lampado humenos, ani hiri se tobe. Ailon, ailon on pisis yererusa, da iera thav masiatis teomitoros. Ke voato hieris pa makariste, teo toke agnia i parthene. It is truly right to bless you, Theotokos, ever blessed, most pure and mother of God, greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare. Than the seraphim, you without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us. O God, by your grace. Tis panagia sacrandui per ebloimenis en doxu de spinissimo an teotoku kea i parthenu Marias. Meta pado donaim gonef san dese eftus kea lilus, ke pas antin zoini mon, Christot teo parazo metha. For all the powers of heaven praise you and give you glory to the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of age. Amen. O apostles of the Master.
To you, O Virgin, I entrust <coughs> will purpose understanding, heart and body and intellect, <coughs> and my soul and all movements of divine energy in me. O Lady, I entreat you, Guard and protect me from my foes, seen and unseen, and rescue me from the bad. <coughs> Depth of all the sins I accumulated, you can accomplish everything that you wish as God's mother. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the highest. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all you his host. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you stars and light. Praise him, you heaven of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the Lord's name, for he spoke and they were made. He commanded and they were created. He established them forever and unto the ages. He set forth his ordinances and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you dragons and all the deep, fire and hail, snow and ice, storming wind which perform his words, mountains and all the hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth, young men and maidens, elders with younger, let them praise the Lord's name, for his name alone is exalted. His thanksgiving is in the earth and heaven, and he shall not exalt the horn of his people, a hymn for all his saints. For the children of Israel, a people who draw near to him. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the assembly of his holy ones. Let Israel be glad in him who made him, and let the children of Zion greatly rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name with dance, with tambourine and harp, let them sing to him. For the Lord is pleased with his people, and he shall exalt the gentle with salvation. The holy ones shall boast in glory, and they shall greatly rejoice on their beds. <coughs> the high praise of God shall be in their mouth, and the two-edged sword in their hand to deal retribution to the nations, reproving among the peoples, to shackle their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to fulfill among them the written judgment, whose glory have all his holy ones. Praise God and his saints. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to the abundance of his greatness. Praise him with the sound of trumpet, Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and flute. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with triumphant cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. To you belongs glory, O Lord our God, and to you we send up glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill to men. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you and we thank you for your great glory. Lord King, heavenly God, Father Almighty, only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit, Lord God, the Lamb of God, the Son of the Father, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You, who take away the sins of the world, accept our supplication. You who sit at the right hand of the Father and have mercy on us. For you are the only Holy One. You are the only Lord, Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father, amen. Every day I shall bless you and I shall praise your name forever and unto the ages of ages. Lord, you have become for us a refuge from generation to generation. I have said, 
Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, to you I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we shall see light. Extend your mercy to those who know you. Grant, O Lord, that in this day we may be kept without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name unto the ages. Amen. Let your mercy, Lord, come upon us, just as we have hoped in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Master, make me understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your commandments. Lord, your mercy remains forever. Do not turn away from the works of your hands. To you belongs praise, to you belongs a hymn, to you belongs glory. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us come speed our morning prayer to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Signomin te absent on a martion, et un primeri maton imon para te kirio et For that which is good and beneficial for our souls, and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. We complete the reigning time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Let us ask for a Christian end to our life, peace without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Deo toku ke ai parthenu Marias, meta pando don ai mimonem sandes e aftus ke alilus, ke pas antinzo inimon, Christo tu deo paratho metha. You are the God of mercy and compassion and love for mankind. Do we give glory to the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever? And to the ages of age. Irini Pasi. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. Holy God, dwelling on high and beholding things below, and with your eye that observes all. Keeping watch over the whole creation, to you we have bowed the neck of our soul and body, and beseech you, Holy of Holies, search forth your visible hand from your holy dwelling place and bless us all. And as you are good and love humankind, pardon us if we have sinned against in anything, voluntary and voluntarily, granting us your blessings both in this world and the world above. For yours to show mercy and to save us, O our God, you we give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of age. Amen. <clears throat> with the Holy Spirit, O oh Christ, did you enlighten the choir of apostles. Through them wash away the filth of our sins, and have mercy on us, O oh God. We were filled with your mercy in the morning, and all our days we greatly rejoiced and were glad. Gladness in return for the days you humbled us, for the years we saw evil things, and behold your servants and your works, and guide their sons. The Holy Spirit of Christ God made the illiterate disciples into teachers, and by their grand eloquent music of the tongues, he being omnipotent, abolished delusion. And let 
the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us <clears throat> and prosper for us the works of our hands. Precious and honorable is the death of your saints, O Lord. They were crushed by sword and fire and frost and they spilled their blood with their hope in you to receive the reward for their labor. They waited and endured, and they received the great mercy from you, the Savior. In glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Most pure and spotless Virgin, who ineffably gave birth to God, intercede with Him for the salvation of the souls of your servants. It is, it is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing to your name, O Most High. Reclaim your mercy in the morning and your truth at night. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. <clears throat> holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Patrimon, o entis uranis, aiestir tonomasu, er thetri basiliasu, yenithir therimasu, osen uranokipitisis, ton artrimon ton epius yon dosimin simiron, ki afesimin ta flimetaimon, os kemis afiemen, tisulet simon, kemis enengsimas spirasmon alaris seimas apotuponiru, Otis sue siniva silia, ke dinamis ke doxa, tu patros ke tu yuk tupne matos ninke ai, ke se onas to neono. Amis Apostolia i presvepsate to eleimoni theo. In ates matonathesin, parastites psychesimon. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A ruler of faith are you, and an icon of gentleness. A teacher of self-control, into your flock this was ever done by the truth of your life and deeds. You were humble, and therefore you acquire hearty, salted gifts, treasures in heaven for being poor. O Father and Hierarch, say, Bless us, intercede with Christ our God, and entreat Him to save our souls. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. <clears throat> we are unequipped to praise you worthily, O Theotokos. For you are the highest of all things created. Therefore we entreat you, 
as a gift to us, have mercy on us. Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, the source of life and immortality, who are the maker of all creation, both visible and invisible, the co-eternal and co-beginningless Son of the Eternal Father, who in the abundance of your goodness were in the last days clothed in flesh, were crucified and buried for us, the ungrateful and thankless ones, and by your own blood refashioned our nature, which had been corrupted by sin. O immortal King, accept the repentance even of me, the sinner, and incline your ear to me and hear my words. For I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned against heaven and before you, and I am not worthy to gaze on the height of your glory. For I have provoked your goodness by transgressing your commandments and not obeying your ordinances. But in your forbearance, patience, and great mercy, you, O Lord, have not given me up to be destroyed with my sins, but you await my complete conversion. For you who love mankind have said through your prophet that you desire not the death of the sinner, but that he, sh but that he should return to you and live. For you did not will, O Lord, that the work of your hands should be destroyed. Neither do you delight in the destruction of men, but you desire that all should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Therefore, though I am unworthy both of heaven and earth and even of this transient life, since I have completely succumbed to sin and am not a slave and, and am a slave to pleasure and have defaced your image, yet being your work and creation, wretch that I am, even I do not despair of my salvation and dare to draw near to your boundless compassion. Therefore receive even me, O Christ, who loves mankind, as the harlot, as the thief, as the publican, and as the prodigal, and take from me the heavy burden of my sins, you who take away the sin of the world, who heal men's sicknesses, who call the weary and heavy laden to yourself and give them rest. For you came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance, and cleanse me from all defilement of flesh and spirit. Teach me to attain perfect holiness in the fear of you, that with the clear witness of my conscience I may receive a portion of your holy things and be united with your holy body and blood, and have you dwelling and remaining in me with the Father and your Holy Spirit. And, O Lord Jesus Christ, my God, do not let the communion of your immaculate and life-giving mysteries be to me for condemnation, nor let it make me sick in body or soul through my partaking of them unworthily, but rather grant that until my last breath I may receive a portion of your holy things without condemnation for communion with the Holy Spirit as a provision for eternal life and as an acceptable defense at your dread tribunal, so that I too, with all your elect, may become a partaker of your pure joys which you have prepared for those who love you, O Lord, in whom, in whom you are glorified throughout the ages. Amen. I know, O Lord, that I partake of your immaculate body and precious blood unworthily, and that I am guilty and eat and drink judgment to myself, not discerning the body and blood of you, my Christ and God. But trusting in your compassion, I take courage and approach you, for you have said, he who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. Therefore have compassion, O Lord, and do not make an example of me the sinner, but deal with me according to your mercy. And let these holy things be for my healing and purification and enlightenment and protection and salvation and sanctification of body and soul, for the turning away of every fantasy and of all evil practice and diabolical activity working subconsciously in my members for confidence and love towards you, for reformation of life and stability, for an increase of virtue and perfection, for fulfillment of the commandments, for communion with the Holy Spirit, as a provision for eternal life and as an acceptable defense at your dread tribunal, not unto judgment nor unto condemnation. Lord my God, I am, Lord my God, I know that I am not worthy or sufficient that you should come under the roof of the house of my soul for all is desolate and fallen, and you do not have within me a place fit to lay your head. But even as from on high you humbled yourself for our sake, so now conform yourself to my humility, 
and as you consented to lie in a cave and in a manger of irrational beasts, so also consent to lie in the manger of my irrational soul and to enter my defiled body. And as you did not disdain to enter and dine with sinners in the house of Simon the leper, so consent also to enter the house of my humble soul, which is leprous and sinful. And as you did not reject the woman who was a harlot and a sinner like me when she approached and touched you, so also be compassionate with me, the sinner, as I approach and touch you. And let the live coal of your most holy body and precious blood be for the sanctification and enlightenment and strengthening of my humble soul and body, for a relief from the burden of my many sins, for a protection from all diabolical practices, for a restraint and a check on my evil and wicked way of life, for the mortification of passions, for the keeping of your commandments, for an increase of your divine grace, and for the advancement of your kingdom. For it is not as one insolent and presumptuous that I draw near to you, O Christ my God, but as, taking, as one taking courage from your ineffable goodness, so that having long abstained from your communion, I may not become a prey to the noetic wolf. Therefore I pray to you, O Lord, who alone are holy, sanctify my soul and body, my mind and heart, my emotions and affections, and wholly renew me. Root in my members the fear of you, and make your sanctification indelible within me. Be also my helper and defender, guide my life in peace, and make me worthy to stand on your right hand with your saints. Through the prayers and intercessions of your all-pure mother, of your ministering angels, of the immaculate powers, and of all the saints who have been well-pleasing to you, amen. I am not worthy, sovereign Lord, for you to come under the roof of my soul. Yet because of your love for all people, you wish to dwell in me. I boldly come. Command the gates open which you alone made, and you will come in with love toward all people, as is your nature. You will come in and enlighten my darkened reasoning. I believe that you will do this, for you did not send away the harlot who came to you with tears, nor cast out the repenting publican, nor reject the thief who acknowledged your kingdom nor forsake the repentant persecutor for what he was. But you counted as your friends all those who came to you in repentance. You alone are blessed, always now and to the endless ages. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, my God, loose, remit, forgive, absolve, and pardon the sins, offenses, and transgressions which I, your sinful, useless, and unworthy servant, have committed from my youth up to the present day and hour, whether in knowledge or in ignorance, whether by words or in deeds, whether in my intentions or in my thoughts, and whether by habit or through any of my senses. And through the intercession of her who conceived you without seed, the all-pure and ever-virgin Mary, your mother, my only sure hope and protection and salvation, make me worthy to receive without condemnation your pure, immortal, life-giving and fearful mysteries, unto forgiveness of sins and e for eternal life, for sanctification and enlightenment and strength and healing and health of soul and body, and for the blotting out and complete destruction of my evil reasonings and intentions and prejudices and the nocturnal fantasies of dark and evil spirits. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory and the honor and the worship with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who alone have authority to forgive men their sins, in your goodness and love for men, overlook all my offenses, whether committed with knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy to receive without condemnation your divine, glorious, spotless, and life-giving mysteries, not for punishment nor for an increase of sins, but for purification and sanctification and as a pledge of a life and kingdom to come, as a protection and help for the destruction of enemies and for the blotting out of my many transgressions. For you are a God of mercy and compassion and love for men. And to you we send up the glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. From lips tainted and defiled, from a heart unclean and loathsome, from an unclean tongue and out of a polluted soul, receive my prayer, O my Christ. Do not reject me, nor my words, nor my ways, nor even my shamelessness, but give me courage to say what I desire, O my Christ, 
and even more, teach me what to do and what to say. I have sinned more than the harlot who, on learning where you were lodging, bought myrrh and dared to come and anoint your feet, my Christ and my, my Lord and my God. And as you did not repulse her when she drew near in her heart, neither a word reject me, but grant that I may clasp and kiss your feet and dare to anoint them with a flood of tears as with most precious myrrh. Wash me with my tears and purify me with them, O word. Forgive my sins and grant me pardon. You know the multitude of my evil doings. You also know my wounds and you see my bruises. But you also know my faith and you behold my willingness and you hear my sighs. Nothing escapes you, my God, my maker, my redeemer, not even a teardrop nor part of a drop. Your eyes know what I have not achieved and your book things not yet done are written by you. See my depression and see how great is my trouble. Take from me all my sins, O God of all, that with a clean heart, a trembling mind, a contrite spirit, I may partake of your pure and all holy mysteries by which all who with sincerity of heart eat and drink you are quickened and deified. For you, my Lord, have said, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. Holy true is the word of my Lord and God. For whoever partakes of your divine and deifying gifts certainly is not alone, but is with you, my Christ, the light of the triune sun which illumines the world. That I may not remain alone without you, the giver of life, my breath, my life, my joy, the salvation of the world, I have therefore drawn near to you, as you see with tears and with a contrite spirit. Ransom of my offenses, I beseech you to receive me that I may partake without condemnation of your life-giving and perfect mysteries, and that you may remain and that you may remain as you have said with me, thrice wretched as I am, lest the tempter find me without your grace and craftily seize me, and having deceived me, seduce me with your deif from your deifying words. Therefore, I fall at your feet, and I fervently cry to you, as you receive the prodigal and the harlot who drew, drew near to you, so also have compassion and receive me, the profligate and the prodigal, as I, now, as I now draw near to you with a contrite spirit. I know, O Savior, that no one, no, o no other has sinned against you as I have, nor has done the deeds that I have committed. But I also know this, that neither the greatness of my offenses nor the multitude of my sins surpasses the great patience of my God and his extreme love for men. Despite our offenses, you purify and enlighten with the oil of compassion those who fervently repent, and you make them children of the light and sharers of your divine nature. And you act most generously, for what is strange to angels and to the minds of men you often tell to the repentant as to your true friends. These things make me bold, my Christ. These things give me wings, and I take courage from the wealth of your goodness to us. With rejoicing, yet with trembling, I, who am but straw, partake of fire and strange wonder. I am ineffably, ineffably bedewed like the bush of old, which burnt without being consumed. Therefore, with thankful mind and with thankful heart and with thankfulness in all my members of my soul and body, I worship and magnify and glorify you, my God, for you are blessed now and ever to all ages. Lord, who alone are pure and incorrupt, who through the ineffable compassion of your love for mankind assumed our whole nature through the pure and virgin blood of her who supernaturally conceived you by the coming of the divine spirit and by the will of the eternal Father, O Christ Jesus, wisdom and peace and power of God, who in assuming our nature suffered your life-giving and saving passion, the cross, the nails, the spear, and death, mortify all the deadly passions of my body. You who in your burial spoiled the, dom the dominions of hell, bury with good thoughts my evil schemes and scatter the spirits of wickedness. You who by your life-giving resurrection on the third day raised up our fallen first parent, Raise me up who am sunk in sin and suggest to me ways of repentance. You who by your glorious ascension deified our nature, which you had assumed and honored it by your sitting at the right hand of the Father. 
Make me worthy by partaking of your holy mysteries of a place at your right hand among those who are saved. You who by the descent of the Spirit, the paraclete, made your holy disciples worthy vessels, make me also a recipient of his coming. You who are to come again to judge the world with justice, grant me also to meet you on the clouds, my maker and creator, with all your saints, that I may unendingly glorify and praise you and your eternal Father, and your all holy and good and life creating spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. I stand before the doors of your sanctuary, yet I do not put away my terrible thoughts. But, O Christ our God, who justified the publican and who had mercy on the Canaanite woman and opened the door gates of repentance to the thief, open to me the depths of your love in mankind, as I, and as I approach and touch you, Receive me like the harlot and the woman with an issue of blood. For the, old, for the one easily received healing by touching the hem of your garment, and the other obtained release from her sins by clasping your sacred feet. And I, deplorable as I am, dare to receive your whole body. May I not be burnt, but receive me even as you did these, and enlighten the senses of my soul, and burn up the indictments of my sins by the intercessions of her who bore you without seed and, as a heaven, and, and of the heavenly hosts. For you are blessed to the ages of ages. Amen. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy on me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, and in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Behold, I approach for divine communion, O Maker. Burn me not as I partake, for you are a fire consuming the unworthy, but cleanse me from every stain. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I confess to you, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood. It is a burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by your divine arrows you have changed me. But burn up with spiritual fire my sins and grant me to be filled with delight in you, so that leaping for joy I may magnify, O good one, your two comings. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I should dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me since it is not a wedding garment. And being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul and save me, for you are one who loves mankind. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Master who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ my God, let not these holy gifts be to my judgment because, of my unwor because I am unworthy, but rather for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body, and the pledge of the life and kingdom to come. It is good for me to cleave unto God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of your mysteries to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as, a, as did Judas. But like the thief, I confess to you, remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. Come, let us worship and bow down before God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Him, Christ our King and God. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 
You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord to the end of my days. The earth is the Lord's in its fullness, the world and all who dwell therein. For he founded it upon the seas and prepared it upon the rivers. Who shall ascend to the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in this holy place? He who has innocent hands and a pure heart. He who does not lift up his soul to vanity. He who does not swear deceitfully to his neighbor. He shall receive blessing from the Lord and mercy from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of, the, of those who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lift up the gates, O you rulers, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall enter. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord powerful in battle. Lift up the gates, O you rulers, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall enter. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. I believed, therefore I spoke. I was greatly humbled. I said in my ecstasy, every man is a liar. What shall I give back to the Lord for all he rendered to me? I will take up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his holy ones. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant and the son of your handmaid. You broke apart my bonds. I will offer a sacrifice of praise. I shall pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Overlook my transgressions, O Lord, born of a virgin, and purify my heart, and make it a temple of your Holy Spirit. I implore you, whose mercy is immense that you do not reject me from your presence. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. How shall I, who am unworthy, shamelessly commune your holy mysteries? If I dare to approach you with those who are worthy, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not fit for the banquet, and I shall bring condemnation upon my very sinful soul. O Lord, cleanse the filth of my soul and save me, in your love for humanity, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, my offenses are indeed very many. To you I run, obeyed and pure, and I pray for salvation. Visit my infirm and ailing soul, and pray for me to your Son and our God, to grant to me forgiveness for the evils I have done. O only blessed Lady, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. Kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Merciful Lord, may your holy body be for me the bread of everlasting life. And may your precious blood, O compassionate Master, prevent me from succumbing to illness of any kind. Glory to you, O God, glory to you. I am defiled by my inappropriate deeds, for which I am unworthy of the most pure body and divine blood of my Savior. O Christ, I entreat you, let me partake of them. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Bride of God, you are the blessed good earth that produced the ear of grain, which no man sowed, 
and which became the world's salvation. And now as I eat it, grant that I be saved by it. O heavenly King, comfort the spirit of truth through our prisoner and fill all things. The treasure of blessings, the giver of life, come and dwell within us and cleanse us of every stain and save our souls, O good one. Glory to God, my highest on earth, peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God, my highest on earth, peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God, my highest on earth, peace, goodwill among men. O Lord of my lips, my mouth shall announce your praise. O Lord of my lips, my mouth shall announce your praise. Ebloye mani vasilia tu patros, que tu yu, que tu yu matos. Nin ke ai ke se onas ton e Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Kiria eleisos. For the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Kiria. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the Holy Church of God, for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Nathaniel, for the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Deacon in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the present, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and for every city and land, and for the faith to live in them, let us pray to the Lord. I pera prasia saer na foria ston carpontis yis que quero ni di ni conto quirio dei thomen. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Andi lavus so son eleison, que dia filax son imas o theosis y hariti. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and Air Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. <coughs> Lord our God, whose dominion is incomparable and glory incomprehensible, whose mercy is immeasurable and love for mankind ineffable, look upon us upon this holy house in your loving kindness and grant to us and those who pray with us your abundant mercy and compassion. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing to your name, O Most High. Despres vi estis theotoku, 
Soter sosonimas. To proclaim your mercy in the morning and your truth at night through the intercessions of the Theotokos. Savior, save us. The Lord my God is upright, and there is no wrongdoing in him. Despres viestis Theotoku, soter sosonima. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Tis panaia sacrandui per evloi manis and doxu despinisimon, deotoku keai parthenu marias, Meta pandu tona yumi von ef sandes eftus ke elilus, ke pas antiso inimon, Christot teo parazo metha. Lord our God, save your people and bless your inheritance, protect the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them in return by your divine power, and forsake us not who set our hope in you. For yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The Lord reigns, he clothed himself with majesty. The Lord clothed and girded himself with power. So, so, ni mas O en ahi stab mastos, salon dasi alleluia. And he established the world which shall not be moved. Save us, O Son of God, who are wondrous in your sight. We sing to you, alleluia. Holiness is proper to your house, O Lord, unto length of days. So sonimas hiatheu, O en aihis tapmastos, salondas hi alleluia. Vox patrice, O keagio pevmati, genike ai. Geis tu se onas tone onon amin. Only begotten Son and Word of God, immortal one, who for our salvation did so humble your herself by taking on flesh, taking flesh by, by the Theotokos, and ever virgin Mary, without change did you become man, and were crucified Christ our God, but conquered death by your death. As one of the Holy Trinity, being glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Hispanaia sacrandui per evloi menis, and oxu despinisimon, 
Deo tokia ia i parcenu Marias, meta pano ton ai mi monef san de sef tus ke lilus ke pasan tin zoini mon, Christo teo parazo metha. Si kiria. Lord, you have granted us to offer to these calm prayers in unison, and have promised that when two or three agree in your name, you will grant their requests. You will. You fulfill now, Lord, the petitions of your servants as may be a benefit to them, granting us in the present age the knowledge of your truth and the age to come eternal life. For you, O God, are good and love mankind to be offered glory to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of age. Apostoliai presbepsate to eleimonitheo. In ates maton apesin parastites psychesimo. Sophia Orthi, come let us worship and bow down before Christ our God. Save us, O Son of God, among the saints glorified. We sing to you, Alleluia. <coughs> oh, holy so make intercessions to our merciful God that he grant our souls forgiveness of the penitents. A rule of faith are you and an icon of gentleness and a teacher of self-control. And to your flock this was evident by the truth of your life and deeds. You were humble and therefore you acquired exalted gifts, treasure in heaven for being poor. O Father and higher arch Saint Darasios, intercede with Christ our God and entreat him to save our souls. In giving birth you retained your virginity, <clears throat> and in dormition you did not forsake the world, O Theotokos. You were translated unto life, being the mother of life. And thus, by virtue of your intercessions, you delivered our souls from death. And in cosmon, Metestis prostin zoin, mitiri parhusatis sois. Getes presviestes es litrumeni, ek thanatutas psychasimon. You have taken to yourself, O Lord, the pinnacles of your disciples, <clears throat> those unerring theologians and preachers to enjoy your blessings and repose. For you accepted their labors, and their death is being higher than any hober offering, for only you know what is in the 
heart. Kyrie dei thomen. Kyrie eleison. For you are God, our holy, and to you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Their proclamation went forth into all the earth and their words to the ends of the world. The heavens declare the glory of God. The firmament shows the creation of his hands. Wisdom. The reading is from John's first universal letter. Roscomen. Brethren, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My little children, I am writing this to you so that you may not sin, but if, if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the expiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. 
and by this we may be sure that we know him if we keep his commandments. He who says, I know him, but disobeys his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, in him truly love for God is perfected. By this we may be sure that we are in, are in him. He who says he abides in him ought to walk in the same way in which he walked. Peace be unto you, the readers. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sophie, or theakusumen, to a you evangelio, Irene Pasi. Et tu cata marcona iu evangeliu tuan agnos ma The Lord said to his disciples, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But of that day or that hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Take heed, watch, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his servants in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to be on the watch. Watch, therefore, for you do not know when the master of the house will come in the evening or at midnight or at cock crow or in the morning, lest he come suddenly and find you asleep. And what I say to you, I will say to all, watch. It was now two days before the Passover and the feast of the unleavened bread and the chief priests and the scribes were sinking, seeing how to arrest him by stealth and kill him. For they said, not during the feast, lest there will be a tumult of the people. Oh, oh, oh. Naksa si kiriye, naksa si. Eleison imas o teos kats omega leosu, O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Et in te per tu archiepiscop vimo Nathanael. Again, we pray for our brethren, the priests, the higher monks, the higher deacons, the monastics, and all our brotherhood in Christ. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, help, salvation, protection, forgiveness, and remission of the sins of the servants of God, all pious Orthodox Christians residing and visiting in this city, the parishes, the members of the parish council, the stewards and benefactors of this holy church. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church, for all our fathers and brethren who have fallen asleep before us, who here have been piously lied to their rest, as well as the Orthodox everywhere. Again, we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable church, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who wait your great and rich mercy. O Tielei, monkey philanthropos, Theos, Ipad, his casiti, doxan, and apembomen. To Patrick, to you, to you, Pnev, Martin, in Kei, Kei, say, on us, to Neono. Amen. Again and again, in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Hear my song. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us. 
O God, by your grace, Sophia, that if regarded by your might, we ascribe glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of age. Amen. Ta Thank you. 
Then they shall bulls upon your altar, then they shall bulls upon your altar, then they shall bulls upon your altar, and have mercy upon me, O God. Let us come plead our prayer to the Lord. With the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. I per turisti neimas apupasis lipsios oris kindinun keanagis kiriu deithomen kiria leiso. Help us, save us, have mercy on us and protect us, O God, by your grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. The complete remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. And let us ask for a Christian into our life, peace without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Dispanaia sacran dui per ebloi menis in doxu de spiri simon, 
Deo tocu che a i parthenu Marias, meta pando ton a i mimonem sandes e aftus che a lilus, che passant in zoi nimon, Christo tu Theo parathometha. Si Kyrie. Lord God Almighty, you are not holy, you accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Even so, accept from us sinners our supplication and bring it to your holy altar of sacrifice. Enable us to, to offer to you gifts and spiritual sacrifice for our own sins, for the failings of your people. Deem us worthy to find grace in your sight. That our sacrifice may be pleasing to you and that the good grace, good spirit of your grace may rest upon us, upon the gifts presented upon all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you art blessed, together with your all holy good and life creating spirit now and forever and to the ages of age Amen. let us bow our heads unto the, let us love one another that with one voice we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence, and in Tastiras, tastiras en Sofia, Roscomen. I believe in one God, <clears throat> Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. <clears throat> he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And then the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the ages to come. Amen. Pistevo e sana Theon, patera pandocratura, pietin uranu che is oraton de pandon che oraton. Che is sana Kirioni, sun Christo, Antonion tu theutum oriani. Tonec tu patros iani then de propandon Antonionon. Fos ec fotos, Theon alithinon, ec theu alithinu. Iani then de upi then de omosion tu patridio tu panda ianeto. Ton di mas santropos, che di patera sotirian, catelthon de ectun ranon. Que sarco thank the name of the Sayu, que Maria stis parthenon que anthropisanda, stavro thenate perimon, e pundiu pilato, que parthon de catavenda, que anestanta, que triti mera catastrafas, que anlothon de suranus, que zomino section tu padros, que padin er homonum que tadoxis, crine zondes que ne cruz, utis vasilias que reste telos, que isto pneuma tu aion to kirion, ton zopion, to actu padros, ec poravomenon, tu isa patrike eosi proske numenon. Cessin doxa zomen tur la lisa an diatum profiton. Is mia na iien catholicin, cep solicin ecclesien, homologo in baptis mai esap sin amartion. Prosco a nasin necron cezuin tu merlum doceonos. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ 
and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Let us lift up our hearts. If God is so men, to Kirio. Singing the triumphal hymn, exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying, Aegeos, 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 Kyrios, Take heed, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Amen. Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood, the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sin. Amen. Remembering, therefore, this saving commandment and all that had been done for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension to heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the second and glorious coming again. Tasa ecton son, si prospero men, catapanda, que di apanda. Once again, we offer to you this spiritual worship of the shedding of blood. We beseech and pray and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us, upon the gifts you presented. May God be gracious to me, the sinner, and have mercy on O Theosi, last me to our locale, son me. May God be gracious to me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. <clears throat> and make this bread, the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that was this cut, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary. Actionestinos alitos, makarisinse, 
Among the first, remember, Lord, our Archbishop Nathaniel. Grant him to your holy churches in peace, safety, honorable, and health unto length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth, and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable, majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. Amen. <laughs> For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Let our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy and celestial and mystical altar, as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Having asked for the union of the faith, the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. We entrust you, loving Master, our whole life and hope, and we beseech, pray, and implore you. Grant us to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from the sacred and spiritual tale with a clear conscience, for the remission of sins, for the forgiveness of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven and boldness before you not into judgment or condemnation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Aban al ladhi fi samawat, li taqaddas ismuk, li yati malakutuk, li taqud mashiatuk, kama fi samai kathalik ala al ard, khubzan al jawhari atin al yawm, watruk lana ma alayna, kama natruk nahnu liman lana alayh, wala tutkhilna fi tajriba, lakin najina min al shirir. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us bow our heads 
unto the Lord. We give thanks to your visible King, who by your boundless power fashioned the universe. And in the multitude of your mercy, you brought all things from nothing into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow down their heads before you. For they have not bowed before flesh and blood, for you the awesome God. Therefore, Master, make smooth and beneficial for us all whatever lies ahead. According to need of each, sail with those who sail, travel those who travel and heal the sick, position of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, compassion, love for mankind, your only begotten Son, with whom you art blessed, together with your all-holy good and life-creating Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of age. Amen. Hearken, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from your holy dwelling place and from the throne of the glory of your kingdom, and come to sanctify us, you who are enthroned with the Father on high and are present among us, invisibly here. And with your mighty hand, grant communion of your most pure body and precious blood to us and through us to all the people. May God be gracious to me, the sinner, and have mercy on me. O Theos, y le May God be gracious to me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. Roskomen tayatisais, the holy gifts. For the holy people of God. And of God is a portion, is true, a portion of God provided. Every year never consumed with sanctifying those who partake. Iskirios, Jesus Christos, is oxan theophatros. Amen. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, for the glory of God the Father. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Behold, I approach for divine communion. O Maker, burn me not as I partake, for you are fire consuming the unworthy, but cleanse me from every stain. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I confess to you. Remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. Tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood. It is a burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. Ye have smit me with yearning, O Christ, and by your divine arrows ye have changed me. But burn up with spiritual fire my sins, and grant me to be filled with delight in you, so that, leaping for joy, I may magnify, O good one, your two comings. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I should dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul, and save me, as you are the one who loves mankind. Master, who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my judgment, because I am unworthy, but rather for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body, and the pledge of the life and kingdom to come. 
It is good for me to cleave unto God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief, I confess to you. Remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. Tu dip no so to mysticus simeroni et theu kirinon paralave. Domiga tis te ktis mystion ipo fili masi dos so kathapir uyudas. Alos olistis amol dogosi mystikidio ten eltis en di vasilia so. Is pasan din ginexi. Of the Gosafton, Geista Perata, Tisikumenista Rimata, Afton, Ali. With the fear of God, with faith and with love, draw near. 
O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Pido mento fosto alithinon, elavo men nepma e pura nion, evro men pistin alithi, adiere ton triada proskinuntes. A fiar i mas esosem. We have seen the light, the true light, and have received the heavenly spirit. We now have found the true faith by our worshiping the undivided Trinity. Who has saved, saved us. Always, now and forever, and to the ages of age. Amen. Let our mouths be filled you with your praise, O Lord that we may sing of your glory, because you have made us worthy to partake of your holy mysteries. Keep us in your sanctification, that all day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Ah. Let us arise, having partake of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, giving an awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Tin zo inimon, Christotus e o parazo We give thanks to you, Master, who loves mankind. Benefactor of our souls, that even on this very day you've made us worthy of your immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, fortify us in your fear, and guard our life. Make secure our steps in the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and Virgin Mary of all your saints. Otisio yes moshi mon que sidin dox arna pembo men to patrik et o yok to yo pnev matin in ke ai ke se onas to ne on on amin 
εν ειρήνη προέλθομεν, Κύριου δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε λέησον. O Lord, who blesses those who bless you and sanctify those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance, protect the whole body of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and forsake us not who set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift from above coming down from you, the Father of lights. To you give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Ή το όνομα Κυρίου ευλογημένον από του νυν και ως του αιώνος. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth forever and forever. Το όνομα Κυρίου ευλογημένον από του νη και ως του αιώνος. Κυρίου δεηθόμεν, Κύριε λέησον, May the blessings of the Lord and His mercy come upon you by His divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Doxa si, O Theo Simon, doxa si. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of the and the Holy Mother, the power of the precious light, giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodily powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet for John the Baptist, of the holy glorious and praise of the apostles, the holy glorious and trite martyrs, righteous God-bearing fathers, for father among the saints, John Christo March, which comes that noble, the holy and right sense of God, and Joachim and Anna. And for father among the saints, Tarasios, the confessor, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy hieromartyr Reginos, Bishop Skopulos, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Diephon tonaion pateron imon, Kyrie Jesu Christe o Theos, eleison gesoson imas. Amen. May the Holy Trinity protect all of you. Good morning, and from Pola. Thank you very much to those who have served today, to our chanters, Jim Kaywood and Minas Nicholas. Serving in the altar and on the video today is Steve Saris, and on the, in the narthex is Christanthi Kaywood. Assisting with the reading is Diane Siegman. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Today we remember St. Tarasios, the Patriarch of Constantinople, and the Hermitor St. Reginos, who was the patron saint of the island of Skopulos. St. Tarasios, uh, his predecessor was the Patriarch Paul, who secretly relinquished the throne, entered a monastery, and received the, the, the great schema, which is he became a monk. And he recommended the Patriarch Paul. Uh, he recommended St. Tarasios to be the next Patriarch. Irene and Constantine the, the VI reigned at the time. By Paul's counsel, Tarasius, who was then a senator and a royal advisor, he was a layman, was chosen to be a patriarch in the year 783. He was quickly raised to the ecclesiastical ranks and consecrated as patriarch. A man of great learning and great zeal in the Orthodox faith, St. Tarasius reluctantly accepted the rank in order to help Orthodoxy in the struggle against heresies especially against iconoclasm. During the reign of the Seventh Ecumenical Council, Nicaea 787 was convened. There, iconoclasm was condemned and the veneration of icons was confirmed and restored. 
St. Therese was very charitable towards orphans and poor, creating shelters and distributing food for them. Toward the powerful, St. Therese was decisive in his defense of the faith and morals. When the Emperor Constantine banished his lawful wife, Maria, and took a kinswoman to live with him, he sought a blessing for his marriage from the patriarch. St. Therese not only refused him a blessing, but first counseled him, then reproached him, and finally forbade him to receive Holy Communion. Before his death, many saw how Tarasus replied to the demons who were f accusing him falsely of doing things he didn't. He said, I'm not guilty of this sin, neither am I guilty of that sin, until his weakened tongue could no longer speak. He then began to defend himself with his hands, driving away the demons. When he reposed, his face was lit up like a sun. This truly great patriarch died in the year 806. He governed the church for 22 years and four months. He did not seek to even be a deacon or a priest, St. Tarasios, but was a layman, a senator. But the patriarch Paul, who wanted to become a monk and did not feel he could undertake this, the defense of the icons, perhaps as he needed to, recommended this layman to become patriarch who quickly was ordained as a deacon, a priest, a bishop, and became patriarch of Constantinople. Not only did he defend the faith with a strong, his, his great learning and his great piety, but he helped the poor and the needy. And he had a, he was a strong um, person in the spiritual life, was able to help many people. And he served as the Patriarch of Constantinople with great dignity and with a great zeal. We can imitate him in helping the poor and the needy and defending the faith and living a holy Orthodox faith as did he. Today we also remember the higher martyr Saint Reginos, a priest martyr. He was a patron saint of the island of Skopulos, Greece. He was a bishop who was tortured for the faith and finally beheaded in 362 under the reign of Emperor Julian the Apostate, along with 40 others. St. Julian was a co-student a co in Athens with the great hierarchs who left the faith and became a persecutor of Christians and tried to bring back paganism. St. Regin Reginos was born in Libadia in central Greece in the late third century to pious parents who instilled in him a love of virtue and zeal for the truth. When the Bishop of Scopulos passed away, St. Reginus was acclaimed as the new bishop by all the people. As the Arian heresy continued to rage after the Council of Nicaea in 325, a new council was called in Sardisha, which is now Sofia, Bulgaria, in 343, during which St. Reginus distinguished himself by his ability to refute the heretics. He is commemorated on February 25th, which is a, a, local, a local holiday on the island. At the Monastery of St. Reginos, which houses the relics of the saint, thousands of faithful gather each year on February 25th from the surrounding islands of Skiathos and uh, Lonisos, as well as from the, port, the coastal port of Volos to pay homage to the martyr. The saint has shown his love for his flock by performing several miracles and healing according to the locals, several of which named their children after him. Reginos or Regina. This is a great saint who was a defender of the faith, who was pious and was holy, and who the people asked for to become their saint. May he intercede for us and inspire us to live holy lives and defend the faith in this day as well. Amen. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O God. I thank thee, O Lord my God, for thou hast not rejected me as sinner, but hast made me worthy to be a partaker of thy holy things. I thank thee for thou hast permitted me the unworthy to commune of thy most pure and heavenly gifts. But, O Master, who lovest mankind, who for our sakes didst die and rise again, and gavest us these awesome and life-creating mysteries, 
for the good and sanctification of our souls and bodies. Let them be for the healing of soul and body, the repelling of every adversary, the illumining of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers, a faith unashamed, a love unfeigned, the fulfilling of wisdom, the observing of thy commandments, the receiving of thy divine grace, and the attaining of thy kingdom. Preserve them in thy holiness. May I always remember thy grace and live not for myself alone, but for thee, our master and benefactor. May I pass from this life in the hope of eternal life and so attain to the everlasting rest where the voice of those who feast is unceasing and the glance of those who behold the goodness of thy countenance is unending. For thou art the true desire and the ineffable joy of those who love thee, O Christ, our God, and all creation sings thy praise forever. Amen. O Master Christ, our God, <clears throat> King of the ages, maker of all things, I thank thee for all the good things thou hast given me, especially for the communion with thy most pure and life-creating mysteries. I pray thee, O gracious lover of man, preserve me under thy protection beneath the shadow of thy wings. Enable me even to my last breath to partake worthily and with the pure conscience of thy holy things for the remission of sins and unto life eternal. <clears throat> for thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of all that is good. To thee we ascribe glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Freely thou hast given me thy body for my food. O thou who art a fire consuming the unworthy, consume me not, O my Creator, but instead enter into my members, my veins, my heart, Consume the thorns of my transgressions. Cleanse my soul and sanctify my reasonings. Make firm my knees and body. Illumine my five senses. Nail me to the fear of thee. Always protect, guard, and keep me from soul-destroying words and deeds. Cleanse me, purify me, and adorn me. Give me understanding and illumination. Show me to be a temple of thy one spirit and not the home of many sins. May every evil thing, every carnal passion, flee from me as from a fire as I become thy tabernacle through communion. I offer thee as intercessors all the saints, the leaders of the bodiless hosts, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and thy pure and blameless mother. Accept their prayers in thy love, O my Christ, and make me thy servant a child of light. For thou art the only sanctification and light of our souls, O good one. And to thee, our Master and God, we ascribe glory day by day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, let thy holy body be my eternal life, thy precious blood, my remission of sins. Let this Eucharist be my joy, health, and gladness. Make me a sinner worthy to stand on the right hand of thy glory, thine awesome second coming. Through the prayers of thy most pure mother and of all the saints. O most holy lady Theotokos, the light of my darkened soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, and my joy. I thank you, for you have permitted me, the unworthy, to be a partaker of the most pure body and precious blood of your Son. Give the light of understanding to the eyes of my heart, you that gave birth to the true light. Enlighten me whom done by sin, you that gave birth to the fountain of immortality. Have mercy on me, O loving mother of the merciful God. Grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts, and a release from the slavery of my own reasonings, and enable me, even to my last breath, to receive the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession, that I may glorify you all the days of my life. For you are blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. Your, for your blessing, greatly glorified forever. Um, is that right? For your, your blessing, greatly glorified forever. Amen. For you are blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation. Prepare for the face of all peoples. A light and light the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. <clears throat> holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O holy apostles, make intercession to our merciful God that he grant our souls forgiveness of offenses. A ruler of faith are you and an icon of gentleness and a teacher of self-control. And to your flock this was evident by the truth of your life and deeds. You were humbled and therefore you acquired exalted gifts, treasures in heaven for being poor. poor. O Father and Hierarch Thalassios, intercede with Christ our God and entreat him to save our souls. In giving birth, you retained your virginity, and in dormition, you did not forsake the world of Theotokos. You were translated unto life, being the mother of life, and thus by virtue of your intercessions, <clears throat> you deliver our souls from death. Grace shining forth from thy mouth like fire hath enlightened the universe, and hath disclosed to the world treasures of uncovetedness and hath shown us the heights of humility. But as thou dost instruct us by thy words, O Father John Christison, intercede with the word Christ God to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> From heaven thou didst receive divine grace, and by thy lips thou dost teach all to worship the one God in Trinity, O venerable John Chrysostom, the all-blessed. Worthily do we extol thee, for thou art an instructor that dost reveal things divine. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. The church is revealed to all as a brilliantly lit heaven, leading the faithful in the way of life. Standing therein, we cry aloud, make firm the foundation of this house, O Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, thou who without corruption didst bear God the word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. May God be merciful to us and bless us. May he cause his countenance to shine upon us and have mercy upon us. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, and home glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of the all pure and Mother, Father among the saints, John Crystal, Marjorie Constantinople, the holy and right sense of God, a Joachim and Anna. For Father among the saints, Tarasus, the confessor, Archbishop of Constantinople, the holy martyr, Viginos, Bishop of Scopulos, whose memory can read the name of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us as a good, loving, and merciful God. Eleison gesoson imas. Amen. God bless you and have a nice day.